And uh, weather yeah. really, really good here for us over the next seven days. Uh, we're going to get a nice uh, break in here and then some heavier rain moving back into that seven day forecast. It's just what we need with that drought. And it continues to keep that uh, short term fire danger way down to the low level. Uh, I did want to start off with a look at this again. A few more chances of some rainfall on the way next week, which will include a stronger storm that's going to have an atmospheric river tap. I have updates on the timing and the totals coming up in about two minutes, but let's go ahead and move it down here into the current view. And there is some rain on the satellite radar picture tonight here and also on Storm Ranger, our mobile Doppler radar. But this is nothing heavy, albeit uh, just watch out if you're going to the grocery store, trying to check things off the list tonight because we will begin to see this develop over the North Bay right near San Francisco as we head through uh, seven o'clock this evening. You can see it right here in my future cast up towards the North Bay SF in the East Bay. But notice as we move through the evening, this really kind of clears out pretty quickly and we'll keep the clouds later on tonight. And then as we head through tomorrow morning, we continue with some areas of fog and clouds to start. And then by tomorrow afternoon, there we go. We start to get in on some sunshine uh, with the best chance over the East Bay Peninsula and the South Bay. You may stay clouded through here up to the North Bay as we roll through tomorrow afternoon. So as we started off, we're going to begin here with plenty of 40s again, 43 down across the South Bay, San Francisco. Have you had 45 in the East Bay, 42 daytime highs for tomorrow? Uh, pretty simple here. We're looking at uh, upper 50s and low 60s throughout the Bay Area. Morgan Hill at 61, Martinez 57 and 59 right there in Palo Alto. Uh, now the storm system we are continuing to really focus in on for next week is going to start to get here by Monday night. The timing is speeding up a little bit on this, but it's just the leading edge of it. Monday evening, it really looks like we would get hit with this and that heavier rainfall as we head through Tuesday's forecast and that heavy Sierra snow. And then we continue to see what could be a second system following it as we head into Thursday, maybe a third one as we head into Friday's forecast. But again, the strongest one looks to be on Tuesday because of that atmospheric river tap totals on this. Very impressive. Most of the Bay Area in just 24 hours would be good for at least one inch. But notice the North Bay, Santa Cruz Mountains, that's two plus inches on this early estimate. So we may get into some isolated flooding issues, especially where the street drains can't keep up with this water coming down or where they will remain clogged. So uh, that's going to be something we're following and the Sierra snow stacking up in feet. Look at this next week, 46 inches Kingville, 21 South Lake Tahoe, Kirkwood up to 45. So on the seven day forecast, we keep it dry right through Christmas weekend. So a nice break here as Santa comes to town and then you'll see as we uh, roll through next week, those chances of rain heaviest on Tuesday again, and then that next round getting here on next Thursday. So Jessica, as you you said yesterday, it's uh, like a, a Christmas gift for all of us here this year. Yes, mm -hmm. Jeff, thank you very much.